Hey there everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to remove a collapsible buttstock and buffer tube as well as a non-collapsible buttstock and buffer tube. All you're going to need is the screwdriver for the non-collapsible and your armor's tool for the collapsible. Okay, so before we start, always check your weapon, make sure it's clear. And then we're going to go ahead and remove the upper receiver and set it off to the side. Okay, so to remove the collapsible buffer tube, we're going to need the armor's tool for that. Before you start, just remember the buffer retainer and spring down in there. And then you have another detent spring in this area here. So as you're taking stuff apart, just be careful so they don't go flying. Start out, take your armor's tool and go ahead and loosen this up. And then keep pressure on your sling adapter there. Get that out of the way. And then slowly pull that away. Then you can pull your detent spring out of there, get it out of the way. And then let's get the buffer spring out of there. Just use your fingernail, push down on the retainer while you're putting pressure on the buffer spring. And then start letting go and that'll let it pass the retainer. Just set that off to the side. You could actually take that out first if you want. It doesn't really matter. Then push down on the retainer again. And, and then just uh, finish unscrewing the buffer tube. Then you can get the retainer and spring out of there if you want, or you can just leave it in there. But that's all there is to it. So just remember before you remove the non-collapsible buttstock and buffer tube, be mindful of the buffer retainer detent and spring down in there. And then also there's another spring that's being held on by the buttstock. So first thing we can do is go ahead and remove the buffer spring. So just push down on this retainer here, put some pressure on the, on the buffer spring first, then push down on the retainer to get the bolt passed. And then you can just go ahead and pull that out, set it off to the side. Then go ahead and undo the buttstock. Okay, then slowly pull that away. Go ahead and set that off to the side. Then you can pull the spring out. You can leave the detent pin down in there if you want, or you can take it out, it's up to you. And then just go ahead and start unscrewing the buffer tube. And again, just uh, kind of push down on that retainer. That way it doesn't go flying. And then you can take the spring out if you want, or you can leave it in there. That's all there is to it.